obviously that if we have one chord, for example, mainly a Dorian chord, remember that we're gonna have four chords, okay? We have uh, D minor, F major, and A minor, and C major. But we can have um, dominant seven for all of them, which means that I can have like... <laughs> okay? If you like this lesson, you can help us giving your like, subscribing yourself to the channel, and also doing some comments. Don't forget to click in the bell because then YouTube will tell you every time I post a new video. And, and of course, we have to combine. Oh, it means that I will only improvise of D minor. And I will be playing uh, like a, a super long line of C7. I mean, you're gonna tend to sound uh, weird and wrong, okay? Because, not because you're playing a wrong note, or, uh, but because you're not create, you're not letting the line breathe. And what is that, Peter, breathe? You have to use tension and resolution. And somehow, even that, for example, we, we play a, 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 even that F major is not the tonality itself, but it's the relative chord. And even that C major has nothing to do with the key of D minor, but C major makes D a Dorian chord, okay? So uh, the Dorian chord uh, will accept more things than other type of chord, okay? Mainly because we have uh, these four chords that, uh, where we can work on doing the seven chords. And, and this is really good because it helps us a lot uh, if we have to create uh, long lines like that, for example. Hold on. comes the leading dominant part of the idea. We are creating giant lines, yes, and we are using so many leading dominants, which are ideas, so small or big ideas. Um, when I say big, it doesn't have to be like four bars, okay? When I say big ideas, uh, I mean like one bar maybe. Maybe it's too much, but one bar is fine, a uh, 16 note. All right, and um, and we have a leading dominant idea going from A7 and ending on D minor. We have a leading dominant going from C7 leading to F major. We have a leading dominant line over E7 that ends in A minor. We have a leading dominant line going from G7 and ending in C major. That's fantastic. Actually, for example, if we have four types of leading dominants, or uh, four, four leading dominant ideas. And we can do all those things over one chord, okay? And as time, as time goes by, you will see that, um, you, you will start playing that without necessarily uh, thinking about it, okay? 